in terms of um, the Alzheimer's prevention, are there any Dr. Neil Barnard's power foods which you could suggest to us which would be great in preventing or perhaps even maybe reversing some effects caused by Alzheimer's? Um, yeah, uh, but let me, certain things I would favor and certain things I would not favor. Um, the things to get away from, we already mentioned. The foods that are high in, in bad fat, saturated fat, dairy, that's number one. Get away from the dairy, the cheese. Yes, I know that some people watching this program, they say, look, I'm addicted to cheese. How, I, can't, I can't live without it. I feel your pain, but cheese doesn't love you back. It's a maladaptive relationship, and it's time to end it now. Um, and that's true for meat. You know, meat is the second biggest source of saturated fat after cheese and, and dairy products. Breaking up with them is a really great idea. Um, let me also suggest uh, snack foods that often have the trans fats in them. Get away from those. And there's a special place in hell for people who are ruining healthy plant-based foods. You can have wonderful vegan foods, but over the past couple of years, people are packing coconut oil and palm oil in them. And that's not healthy. That's a saturated fat too. So look for the ones that don't have that. Um, be careful about your cookware. Uh, don't cook in aluminum pots and pans if the aluminum is touching the food because aluminum can be a brain toxin too. Uh, same with iron. We're in love with our cast iron pan. Uh, but especially for men, you know, women, will, women in their reproductive years will lose a little bit of blood every month and so their iron levels tend to stay low. Older women and men at any age tend to store too much iron and iron can goof, goof up the brain too. So I'm a big fan of stainless steel cookware or, or nonstick cookware, not the aluminum and not the, the iron. So with regard to things to, so that's all the stuff to not do. Um, the things to do, uh, before I get to, to food, do lace up your sneakers and go out for a good run because if you pump, get your heart pumping, it gets oxygen to the brain, it gets the toxins out, so exercise is good. Do make sure you sleep. Yes, I know there's a lot of great stuff for to stay awake for on the internet, but it's good to knock off once in a while and, <laughs> and let your brain rest. Your brain needs to rest. But with regard to food, uh, we there are four food groups that are important: vegetables, fruits, whole grains, beans. But within them, look for color. Um, the carrots or sweet potatoes, yams. That orange color is beta carotene. That's an antioxidant. That's important. Uh, tomatoes. That red color, that's lycopene, that's an antioxidant. Vitamin E rich foods, those are the nuts and seeds, those are antioxidants. Think about blueberries, um, grapes, uh, those, the, 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 the pigments are, you're often a guide to antioxidants that have protected the plant and they can protect you too. So uh, eat for color. <laughs>